Plaintiff Jeff Livingston dated the defendant, despite the fact that he's 37 and she's 21. Jeff claims soon after they started dating, the defendant brought another female into their relationship, but they ultimately broke up. He's suing her today for loans and emotional distress. Defendant Sharice Carter says when she first started dating Jeff, everything was great. But over time, he became controlling and possessive. She's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Your Honor, we met around October, but we didn't uh, officially meet until about Thanksgiving. Actually, Thanksgiving. Of last year? Of 2019, yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, I was staying in a motel at the time. I had just came back from Florida. And uh, so she, you know, came along. And she never left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so she came I mean, to visit, I, or she came from Florida with her. Oh, me? she she's from Ohio. She never left, but I didn't care. You know, she was cool. I liked her. You know. How did it go? How was she? Everything was cool. You said. Yeah. You know, we met through mutual friends. And How long did you all stay there at the hotel? I, I stayed there for about two months. And she was there for the two months with. Yes. Her? Yes. I paid for everything. You know, she ain't having a job, no money, nothing. I paid for everything. All and you all got along, being in one room together for two months? Yeah. Right? That was pretty I, good. I really thought we had a connection, you know? If you can do that, after just meet somebody, stay with them in a the little room for two months, you do have something connected. Exactly. So, <laughs> like, OK, but that's not, <laughs> we got a big age difference. I'm, I just turned 37. She's 21. All right. OK, you know, but she was carrying herself so well that I was like, I don't see no problem with it, you know? So I'm like, cool. So, you know, things started to shape up, you know, we decided to make other moves. So, you know, we we ended up leaving the motel. We moved into her friend's house. We paying right there. She had just got a job. But now, as soon as she had got a job, COVID came. Okay, let me allow her to get some background. Okay. Ma'am, let me hear from you. Hello. Um, so we did meet around like October, November of 2019. We ended up hanging out for his Thanksgiving and he decided to not stay with his mom and he was gonna get a motel. So I was trying to put my best foot forward and not seem judgy. Um so I ended up staying at the motel with him. He invited me to come crash with him for a couple of weeks, and it just turned into a couple months. All right. In between the motel and my friend's house, he actually moved back in with me to my mother's house. I thought you said you moved with friends. No. You I moved in her chance. mother's? OK, I guess her mother is a friend. <laughs> staying at his friend's house, that's what he said. <laughs> Go ahead, he's staying at your mom's house. Um, so it gave me time to like look for jobs in BG where we were moving to. So I ended up finding a job and I was planning to stay with my friends and stuff. And he came along because at that point we have established that we are together. So I don't see any problem with him staying with my friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we do move into my friend's house and we are paying rent. You know, it was real nice. And then, of course, COVID did hit and I ended up losing my job. Because okay, and that's where he stopped. So I'm allow him to resume. Yeah, Tell so, me what happened when COVID hit. Okay, so COVID hits, she loses her job. And that's not losing, she gets laid off. Mm -hmm. She files unemployment. When was this? March, this, April? This, it was April. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, but, you know, rent was still having to get mm -hmm. paid. So I paid both our parts, which was two ten a piece for the months of April and May. Okay. Things start, you know, you know how COVID, did. COVID was like, we, had, we were just. Was? <laughs> yeah. Is. Yeah. Go ahead. So we just, we just all together, like, for a while, long time, like. 
<laughs> and it's good. I'm from what I'm hearing, you all are made for each other. If you can stay in that same room Boom. in a hotel room we, for two months straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're made for each other. Yeah. So you couldn't she, go too many places, nothing was open. Nothing was open. Nothing to do. All right, you need an award. <laughs> <laughs> go get them. Go ahead, a trophy or something. <laughs> I had to go to an entire separate spot every couple of days. Man, it wasn't it was, nothing but doing the daytime. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah. It was pretty 10 p.m. It's 9 a.m. Where are you going? <laughs> to the other spot. Like, what you got? I just got some reading to do. I can't say I was taping. I couldn't say I was doing anything in the L.A. offices because they're all closed. My office there. No speaking. Where you? Yeah, no speaking engagements. I just had to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> be badgered. <laughs> do this, do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think about? What do you want to watch? Give me the remote. I want to watch. I want to go up to my room and watch my uh, my own programs. <laughs> and then, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes. What you watching? <laughs> I turn the cartoons. Anything. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I want to watch Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's tough. So you get the award of the COVID boyfriend of the year. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. That, that's the hey. first, the main benefit of COVID for me was spending time with my family and uh, reconnecting and seeing that I can be around all day, every day, and be quite happy. For three, four months straight, nothing. Zero. Me, her, Thank God for the grandbaby and the grandbaby <laughs> no, no. and the grandbaby <laughs> and the children, uh, and I loved it. Tell me about it, the loan. How did it I become was, a loan? I was paying you paying her. for her share of the rent. How did that become a loan? Uh, you don't think about that when you're together and things is going on. That you know, when I was staying at her mom's house, I was paying rent to her mom too for both of us. Well, pretty much for me, but. You might as well say, I was I was taking care of us. How did it become a loan? That's what I'm getting How to. did it become a loan? Uh -huh. The original plan was we were supposed to pay, you know, our our share. And she didn't, you know, my but money. But did she say, you pay my share and I'll pay you back? That's how it becomes a loan. Otherwise, it's two people who've been in love, who stayed in one room hotel, just looking at each other, you fawning, and oh, <laughs> oh. No, she didn't what say that. time she, that rent due, doctor? That. <laughs> it's a whole that. different story. She, COVID! <laughs> she, no, she didn't say that. Well, then it's hard for it to become a loan then if she didn't tell you she'd repay you. Emotional distress, how does she owe you for that? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll wait, the, wait, wait. The, the four, no, the four. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a lot of leeway here. The four twenty. Been drinking though, that lean, so go four, ahead. I'm gonna give you a pass. The four twenty, she, I was paying on the deposit that she didn't have the money for at the time in her account. When did she say she would repay you? She said she would repay me uh, once she, once you know everything got situated, and. Is everything situated? I don't believe it is. You don't believe it is, but it might be. <laughs> it depends on the Everything definition. might be situated. But see... Now, he's been drinking lean, but why aren't you clear? He, I understand he's, well, his thoughts are a little jumpy, but what about you? I never said I would pay him back. I didn't say that. Go ahead, sir. See, Your Honor. Let's do, keep doing our thing. Your Honor. Go ahead. You went. Okay, we were. The, the motion of the story. I'm going to get to the motion of the yes, part. All right. All right, so this is what happened. I got. This is about three weeks ago. I got drunk. I don't really no, drink like that. No, st <laughs> no stuff. <laughs> no stuff. Okay. Look, I don't really drink like that, but because, you know, I'm in recovery for real. Like, for opiates. Go ahead. Yeah, so I don't Which drink. is included in lean, them styrofoam cups. I saw you with a styrofoam cup. <laughs> so I've been doing well. I saw you with a styrofoam cup, some Kool-Aid, 
some Seven Up mm -mm. and wine candy. <laughs> mm -mm. They snatched the codeine out your hand. Uh, so you in here acting high off lean and you ain't even had the whole ingredients. No, I'm good. I'm clean. I know you are, because they took the codeine. So why you acting like you high off lean and they even had none? That's crackish ways, leanish ways. Leanish ways. All right. You know, he's not on lean anymore, but he has leanish ways. <laughs> Have fun with you, Doc. Yeah. I believe you're in recovery. I'm glad you are. How long you been in recovery? For about two years. All right. You're good. About two years. Congratulations two years to clean. you. Yeah. So, uh, like, the time is getting short at the place that we were both staying at because the lease is about to end. So, I got drunk, like I said. I said a bunch of horrible things to a bunch of a bunch of people that I know. Like, I blacked out. I literally blacked out. Like, I don't even remember. That's why it's so hard for me, like, the way she's been acting lately, like, because I don't remember any of it. But what did she do to you to cause emotional I, distress? Because I kept, because she told me, oh, I don't want to be with you. I don't want you to live with me anymore, any of that. And I was like. And so for that, you should be able to get some money in a lawsuit. No, because I was like, the lease ends at the place we were staying. I end up having to go back to a motel. I was pretty much about to be like, now I wasn't gonna be on the street, but it it could have been, I could have been on the street. Okay, so you want money because you could have been on the street, but you weren't. All right, <laughs> let me hear from you. He wants you to pay him because he could have been on the it street, but he wasn't. It Go was ahead. all good in the beginning. Like I was used to him taking care of me because he was paying the rent at the motel. He was buying us food, you know, he was really, doing that older man role that I saw. So once I get this job, COVID hit, I ended up getting laid off. So while that was happening, he paid my rent. But from my understanding, we were together and he was already paying my rent before this. So I didn't think that I had to pay it back. He never discussed with me that if something were to happen between us that I would have to end up paying him back. Go ahead. So after COVID clears up some, we're able to open up more stores. I end up going back to work. At that point, uh, I know on one instance, he starts becoming more possessive now instead of being really sweet. And it's like, nice, because he's there for me. It's more now he's being controlling. All right, where do you work? I work at a gym. Okay. So it's a lot of men in the gym. Right. That's why I asked you where you work. And when you said that, I said, oh, okay, that's what that is. It's very understandable. I'm not saying anything. But if I'm talking to someone who has a question that happens to be a male or, like, it's a regular customer and it's, like, come in same time every day and I say, oh, hey, how's your day? He always had to know what we were talking about. He had to know how I knew them. He had to know everything we said, why we were talking, and a million other questions. So he started staying at my job. He started staying at your job? Mm -mm. He would come with me when I went to work so he could work out. What time? Uh, about 2. Oh, in the afternoon, OK. Yeah. And then most days, at the earliest he would leave, is four hours later, around 6.37, when I had my lunch, because he would buy me lunch every day. And then some days he would stay later because he was in meetings or he was just like having a really long workout. So he would stay six to eight hours a day. So that started becoming a problem because we aren't allowed to have as many people in the lobby area now with COVID. So it was told to him like, essentially you can't just hang out at the gym all day. So he had a problem with that and he ended up getting in uh not an altercation but he was getting very loud with my manager and uh on page seven he references how he's banned from the gym you had banned from the gym for stalking your woman no because they tried to say that i was loitering but i was there working out like how was i loitering when i was working out so Okay, so they told you you were littering so you couldn't hang around? Exactly. I thought you said loitering. Loitering. Was it loitering or littering? Loitering, loitering, loitering. 
You got me confused. He's probably loitering and littering. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so they told you what now? They told me I was loitering, and and I was like, hold on, but they was trying to like threaten her job. You have me. a membership? Let's start there. I was on her guest pass because every day, all day. No, she you would only have, go once on a guest ask, pass. She would ask me to come up there. No, you can go every day, but she <laughs> would be like every day. She would be like, "You coming up?" I would be like, "Yeah," and then like a couple times I said no, and she was like, "Oh, why not?" And I'm like, "Cause I don't feel like going all the way up there today." Cause so she was forcing you to come up there, actually. Well, plus I was buying her lunch too. So you coming up there to make sure she don't have lunch with another man? <laughs> you, you know I know the game now. <laughs> now. You can just tell me anything and the judge don't know what time it is. Right, right. He's up there blocking. But look, you're on it. He's up there blocking. <laughs> I want to get to a situation where, see, I, I forgot this part of the situation where our relationship kind of took a, a, a little turn. All right, now see, she wanted to add a female to our relationship. He should have brought this up first. I should have, but I wasn't. I was trying to get to the all the money part. Well, we like the juicy part first. <laughs> <laughs> we like the yeah. juicy part. You know. How'd that work out? I mean, you didn't do such a dastardly thing, did you? I I was like, all right, let's do that's 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 see what that's see what that's about. That's horrible, but describe your action. Look. <laughs> so the girl comes, she hangs out, but see Who brought her? Her. She said, This is my friend. You all went and had drinks and you worked it from there? No, nah, she, she they worked was, it. They was yeah, that Who was her thing. It was her thing. She worked it. Okay. Now the girl no, see she wanted what happened was the way I see it is she wanted her all to herself. She wanted the girl all to herself? Yes. Well, why would she? That didn't make sense. She wouldn't bring her to you. Well, it was supposed to be like that at first, but we had, we had mm -hmm. had that falling out before. Well, OK, and you got put off the set. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. well, what you think? You didn't have a guest pass that <laughs> night. You, you needed a guest pass. <laughs> yeah, so. So you never did get to hang out. Like no, that. we hung out. She stayed for like a week, you know. It okay, was, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Ma'am, you, you don't need to say anything if you don't want to about that horrible accusation he's making, uh, mass and uh, talking about you all. Well, they're freaking together, three of y'all, <laughs> three of y'all together. And he didn't know how to work it, so y'all put him off the set. <laughs> then you called him in at the last minute. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I'm going to say on that is that was one of five times I had broken up with him. So, like, during that time, I was not involved with him at all, and he was still hanging out because he did pay rent at my friend's place. So he was still, unfortunately, hanging out in my room area with me all the time, would not give me space, which is why we ended up getting back together because he's very... You didn't run off with the woman, did you? Uh, did not go well with the woman. Oh, okay. No. All right. Well, I'm just curious. Uh, we've deviated. Uh, I was going to say, also, though, on page six, because he did have a habit of when he was at the gym knowing that I'm working, he would be texting me and calling me while six. he sees me Jeff, work. stop harassing me at work, first thing I see. I can't focus with the nerve. What is you, What is you telling people? I'm mad at you. You're hilarious. I'm at work. Stop. That's what's up. Yeah, my lawyer told me to leave it alone. Just don't go back to the y'all gym. But they can't tell me that I can't be in the plaza. It's public. As long as I'm shopping, he said y'all got the right. Were you shopping? Yes, I always shop in that plaza. So I just go to another gym. It don't matter to me. They just mad that I use your guest pass. Yeah, and I'm not stupid, so this is the only way they can get around banning me. Police told me and my lawyer told me as long as I don't enter y'all's doors or hang in the front of that door to business, I'm okay. And they told you right. However, sir, she told you to stop. And that's why she's countersuing. Is that the reason you're countersuing, harassing you at work? Yeah. Okay. And then after he got banned from my job, he continued, like, 
the first couple pages, you can see the call logs from just within one or two days. What page? Oh, yeah, okay. The first and page the of your And the call numbers are like 757, 757, 756, 741, well, 741. Well, you drove, you, you drove this man crazy. <laughs> you gone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say, sir? I'm looking at evidence. You calling the woman at a job, won't let I'm looking at the text. Here she shows me where you've made all these texts. What do you have to say, sir? I was a little, like, persistent over the situation, but it's just because I really like her. I really all right, so why aren't you her. all together now? Because I got drunk and I said all those horrible things. All like, right, can you forgive him and y'all get back together? No, because Why? he said his ex was better than me in no. every way. Oh, who no. cares what he said? <laughs> Let him forgive him and going back. You can't know. I'm telling you, you ain't sitting in no room with nobody for two months <laughs> and not be in love. I just don't like the harassment anymore. At work? At work and, like, if I go home. Anywhere the control. I mean, even if you all got back together, he would be too controlling? Yes. That's your point. Okay. Well, if that's the way you feel and you have, you would know. You would only know. You know what you did to that man. <laughs> Make that man not be able to control himself. <laughs> man ain't lost control. Haven't you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grant you $500 for the uh, harassment. On the other hand, you're so pitiful. I'll give you $500 for whatever it is. The emotional distress you had yourself when she put you out or left you hanging. Don't you think he deserves something? Seriously. Look over there at him. He's pitiful. Don't you? No. Give me $500. Maybe two. 200. 200 is your judgment. <laughs> Have a good day. That's my judgment. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened. Like, I wish you could forgive me. Yeah, no. <laughs> but if you want, you can stop texting my mom as well. That would be nice. No doubt.